The Average Camper's Adventures. Motorhome security when you're boondocking is a very important thing. And we've purchased some things to do our own DIY motorhome security system. The first thing that we purchased was a motion activated LED nightlight. And you can place that anywhere where there is a plug in your motorhome that runs off the inverter. The next thing that we purchased was a mini alarm motion sensor with a remote control so that as we're leaving the coach we can just simply set the alarm just like we would with a car alarm and we'll place that somewhere near the door so that it will detect the motion. The other is a exterior LED uh, light so that when somebody walks around your coach at night the light will turn on and that will help discourage anybody from being around your coach. And the most important one is actually a an ISP web camera. Now what this does is it allows us to connect this camera to the internet and use a program um, created by D-Link on our cell phone. So anytime we can turn our cell phone on and receive a video of what's going on in the coach. It also has a motion sensor built into the video so that if there is movement within the coach it'll send us an alarm on our cell phone to let us know that there's motion inside the coach. The system also comes with sound detection so that if there's no motion but yet there's sound like someone breaking a window it will send a alarm to your cell phone to let you know that there has been an unusual sound in your coach or around your coach. Okay, as you can see, we've just temporarily set up the camera here on the dash. I have my cell phone. You can see the picture that comes up over the cell phone. And so this, as long as you have a connection, which we use a MiFi device, connect it to the camera, and then you can pull it up on your phone. And again, when there's motion or sound, it will send you an alert to let you know that someone is around or in your coach which gives you time to react. Okay, I placed the solar powered LED light just below our door handle using existing screws for the uh, door latch. And that way as somebody walks up or if we walk up, it'll actually give us a nice little light. But as somebody walks up, that will will glow and uh, maybe detour somebody from going any further. And for your motion detector alarm, you want to place it somewhere where where the spectrum covers most, if not all, of the coach. So that if somebody came in through a window, it would still capture the motion. None of these items were very expensive and together they make up a very strong security system for your RV. Thank you for watching. Join us next time on the Average Camper's Adventures.